Today we are discussing a rare case of a 32-year-old male with a history of ankle pain for more than 5 years. He described to us severe pain at all the time. He could not walk with more than a few steps before having to stop. His pain was worse at night time. The patient has been confined to his home most of the time because of his pain. His past medical history was complicated by the history of pheochromocytoma and removal of his left adrenal gland and the onset of osteoporosis at the age of 28. The patient does not take any medications, he does not smoke, or he does not drink alcohol. There is no history of pheochromocytoma in his family. The patient denies any history of trauma. This patient was diagnosed with the avascular necrosis of both ankles. This was the first time in my practice that I have ever seen a patient with avascular necrosis of ankle that was not caused by trauma or fracture. Avascular necrosis of ankle can be quite devastating and leading to total loss of ankle joints with arthritis, deformity and pain. Loss of blood supply to the bone can be caused by an injury. When a joint is injured as seen in fracture or dislocation, the blood vessels may be damaged as well. This can interfere with the blood circulation to the bone and lead to trauma-related avascular necrosis. Some studies suggest avascular necrosis may develop in more than 20% of the cases of trauma. Other risk factors for avascular necrosis are corticosteroids, alcoholism, Gaucher's disease, pancreatitis, radiation treatment, and chemotherapy. Blood disorders such as sickle cell disease could also produce avascular necrosis. Avascular necrosis strikes both men and women and people of all ages. It is most common among people in their 30s and 40s, depending on a person's risk factors and whether the underlying cause is trauma, it could also affect younger or older people.